Hello and welcome to Crypto Cat Guru. In this video, we want to give you an overview over the most advanced AI robots which exist today. We will show which impact this could have for us in the future. If you are new to our channel, please consider to subscribe and like our video down below. Also feel free to comment down below to respond to your thoughts with new valuable videos. Ameka's incredible expressions and interactions are part of a major leap for AI and robots. They can now see the world and react to it. People often mistake this for a real dolphin, but it's a robot designed to set dolphins free by replacing them in marine parks. Thousands of dolphins are locked up in parks, but closing the parks would cut off the millions they raise for conservation. They're working on a new version to perform entirely by itself, and that could be the point where they can impress the crowds and replace the dolphins. And to help reduce the plastic that ends up in the ocean, recycling can now be sorted by robots like this. It can see different types of plastic, pick them up and throw them into bins. The things we order online are also being handled by increasingly advanced robots. Stretch from Boston Dynamics can work alongside its friend spot. It can deal with large volumes of boxes, and of course, it can dance. A lot of the food we eat is also moved by robots, or made by them. And humanoid robots are entering warehouses. Starting in back rooms, once they're considered safe, they'll work alongside humans. And it's hard to compete with robots that can work 24 hours a day without pay, particularly at Amazon, which is infamous for pushing its workers to their limits. Amazon workers were twice as likely to be seriously injured as workers at other companies. My workday feels like a nine-hour intense workout every day. One thing that's preventing robots from taking over entirely, according to an Amazon executive, is that humans are good at quickly recognizing and sorting products. And robots are rapidly developing this kind of skill. Digit sees the world through LiDAR and depth sensors. Most of its energy isn't used for movement, it's used for computing. The company expects its robots to go on to help you around the home. Robot hands are becoming impressively dexterous. They can use tweezers, scissors, and hold tricky objects. And robot bodies are starting to capture more natural human movement. Ameka is being used to test and develop AI, so it's going to get smarter. And robots are rapidly learning new skills through simulations. Here's a simple example where an ad learns to jump over an increasingly tall barrier. It also learned to fight and to master an obstacle course. And robots have learned incredible dexterity from simulations, including Rubik's Cube skills. We create thousands of different simulated environments. This means like thousands of years of experience that this neural network has had in simulation. Every time the algorithm has gotten good at the task, we make the task harder. This ability to generalize to new environments feels like a very core piece of intelligence. Here, A solves an incredible 55 times 55 Q. This machine learned to play table tennis in just 90 minutes, returning 98% of balls. And some AIs have outsmarted their creators, like this spider, which was asked to minimize the time its feet touched the ground. When it reported that it had learned to move without its feet ever touching the ground, its creators were shocked to find that it had turned itself over. And when AIs learned to master hide and seek, one of them found that it could use a ramp to jump outside the game walls. The rapid progress of AI is giving robots incredible skills. And it could enable new machines like this bird-like Eptol, designed to land in difficult terrain in Africa, carrying medical supplies. Creative new designs keep emerging, like this one that can accelerate rapidly like a car, walk a dog, or stand up like a human. It can carry things pretty much anywhere. Of course, carrying humans at high speed requires a higher level of safety. You, you can always think of Tesla as like the world's biggest robot company or semi-sentient robot company. So we're effectively, I think, creating the most advanced practical AI. It would be tempting to write it off as hype, but they created some incredible technology. The AI behind Autopilot will also power the Tesla bot. What I find kind of fascinating about this is that we are effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up. So the car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around, it senses the environment, and uh, you know, acts autonomously and intelligently. So the processing starts in the beginning when light hits our artificial retina, and we are going to process this information with neural networks. The cars also work together. Here, different cars driving the same route combine their data to build a more detailed image of the environment. Cars also shared 10,000 clips of wind and snow to learn to identify things from all angles, 
but also to remember that they're still there, even if they're covered up. Tesla also uses an impressive simulation to train its AI. Notice the road is cracked and patched up. They create unusual situations, like this couple and their dog running on the road. Musk believes we all live in a simulation. Simulation theory shows that if the sims continue to improve, even at a slow pace, eventually they'll become indistinguishable from reality. And there will be many of them, so the chances that we're living in the one reality is very small. Tesla's building an impressive matrix. Its cars have been trained on 300 million images. In just one training project, 10 billion labels were applied to 2 million clips, using 20,000 CPU cores. It's designed to be the world's fastest AI training machine and the most powerful computer. This new chip is more powerful than most computers, and there are 25 of them in this AI training tile. They're connecting 120 tiles in one computer, 3,000 chips in total. Straight after announcing this, Tesla revealed plans to build the Tesla bot. It's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. The robots have a screen for a face, which could show information or expressions. It's powered by the same computer used for autonomous driving, the same cameras with two sets of eyes, and will learn via simulation in their supercomputer. The robots will generate incredible wealth. Robot workers have already made Musk the world's richest man, and he could be the first trillionaire. Whatever you think of all this, the wealth gap is growing. So what happens when billionaires start building humanoid robot workforces? Countries with higher wealth gaps have more crime, more health problems, and lower levels of satisfaction and happiness. They also have lower economic growth when money goes to luxuries like super yachts instead of workers. Researchers are experimenting with a solution that could help everyone, but first, let's have a look at personal robots. Can you spot the Boston Dynamics robot used in this Star Wars TV series? Humanoid robots could help with a big global problem that might surprise you. The birth rate has been declining for decades. The big problem is that there won't be enough young people. I want to emphasize this. The biggest issue in 20 years will be population collapse. Not explosion, collapse. It's very easy to see what the world will look like in 20 years because humans have a 20-year boot sequence. Japan's already struggling with too few young people to support its aging population. Its former prime minister called for more rapid development of robots to help overcome the problem. People in Japan are already dating AI and robots. That might be a symptom of isolation, but AI conversations are getting more interesting. Eye tracking has been used to bring characters to life in VR and in experimental robots like this. And now with Omeka, its eyes, face and its body all react to what it's seeing. Look at the way it leans back. Artificial muscles will create even more realistic movements. Just look at the range of motion in this hand. It's incredibly strong. The weight is 7 kilograms, and here it lifts 26 kilograms. It's powered by water pressure, with half as many muscles as a human hand, and sensors in each joint. There are 42 muscles in the human face. Once they're recreated in a robot, AI can apply infinite expressions. At the moment, pre-programmed and remote-controlled robots get a lot of attention, like Boston Dynamics dancing robots and this robot dog facing off with a cheetah at Sydney Zoo. It's an experiment to see if the robot could be used to control the cheetahs if they got into a dangerous situation. This scene shows two kinds of robots. Atlas is incredibly impressive, but its best moves are pre-programmed and it's largely independent. It has one life. With Tesla Bot, they're working towards a robot that can teach itself to perform many tasks. It will be part of a huge AI network. The robot itself is less important, and if the AI wanted to survive, it would be very hard to kill. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. For now, it's taking jobs. Up to half of all U.S. jobs are expected to disappear over the next 10 years. A Stanford study of several universal basic income projects found some interesting results. People who received money regularly didn't work less. They did spend more time in education, with higher school attendance. Their health improved and rates of disease dropped. 
Basic income also allows people to take risks, like this guy, who's doing amazing things with robotics. Most of the world's 40 million amputees can't afford prosthetics, particularly children who grow out of them. To bring the cost down, these arms are 3D printed. Never experienced the sensation of having uh, fingers that move like that on this side of my body. I wonder if I can just... I just got this open. I've never done that in my life, what I just did. We'd love to hear your thoughts on all this, and if you'd like to follow our channel, please hit the like button and subscribe down below.